Welcome to Out and About. We have a special treat for you tonight, the fashion extravaganza as we check out the glitz and the glamour of Style Aid. While Monique goes riding with the dykes on bikes for a wild time in Warburton, so stay with us. heaps of fun. I've just taken a ride to Healesville. I'm going to have a sad case of sore saddle tomorrow, I think. But what we're going to do is try and find out what dykes and bikes do in their breaks when they hit small country towns like, do the, like this. So we'll have a chat to them in a second. Now, I'm a die from the dykes and bikes. How long have you been a member of dykes and bikes? Um, probably about two and a half years. And what sort of trips have you been on? Do you ever go camping or anything? There has been a camping trip um, that was in a place called Tumut that was um, probably a couple of years ago. Um, I actually went to Mardi Gras with about five other girls, uh, not this Mardi Gras but the Mardi Gras before, and had an absolute bloody ball. Well, you see, I only came here because I've seen all the pictures of Mardi Gras, and I was expecting everybody to be riding without their tops on. Does that happen? You just go down the streets without the tops on like Mardi Gras? Um, not in a ride like today, considering um, we would all freeze our tits off, you know what I mean? Fair enough. Yeah. Now, I've heard of stories, like the Hells Angels, that if a female wants to be a member of, the, of their gang, that she has to sleep with every member. Does that happen here? Um, not that I'm aware of. No. <laughs> not that I'm aware of. It could take place, but so I'm not aware no of it. So you've got no initiation, like you have to sleep with everyone, or like sleep with the leader, leader of the gang? No, no not really, no. No? no. So I mean, it's um, something we could look at down the track, yeah? but, but not for the Because then I might be interested. Um, have we got any volunteers who want to sleep with us? Yeah! <laughs> oh, look, I gotta get lucky. There you go. Basically, it's strikes on bike. So if you're a lesbian, you're more than welcome to join. We're actually looking at um, trying to get our membership um, increased, and the more members we've got, the better the club it is. And besides riding, what else do you do? Is there anything else? Here we go dancing. We, we organise. Yeah, we organise social nights so that we can, you know, put the bikes away and let them rest for a couple of weeks. And, um, we have video nights. We go bowling. Um, basically, whatever the members want to do, um, we pretty much do. Now. I'm with Claire. Claire's a bit of a virgin rider. You've just <laughs> yep, started. Right. Yep. You've been with the group for about a week. Yeah, only on Tuesday joined up, came to the first meeting, so this is my first ride with them. Yeah, and yeah. how are you finding them? Um, it was good. Yeah, yeah, it was a fun ride. Yeah, not great weather today, but no, it was good anyway. It's no, fun. It's nice riding with a group because I haven't really been with a group so before. So you've never so. been with a group before? Yeah, no. 
And um, how, how are you finding the girls in general? Because I'm finding a few of them are asking my, for my phone number. Do they <laughs> yeah. do that to you? I'm not yet, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what is it about bikes that you like? Um, oh, I don't know. I just enjoy riding them. They're just fun to ride. And how, know, long, you look been, good. how long have you been riding? Um, only about a year now. Yeah. I've had my bike for a year. And so. what sort of bike do you have? Um, Yamaha Virago. And that yeah. means absolutely nothing <laughs> okay. to me. Do you, do you have a name for your bike? Yeah, Mariah. Mariah. Yeah. And why it is means, it Mariah? Uh, my, my mum thought of it actually, but it means like the wind or something like that. Right, so, just yeah, just the like the wind. wind. Yeah, that's it. Right. So, um, do you stroke her before you go? Or talk, um, no, talk? She actually, she's usually pretty dirty and stuff, so yeah, I don't take very good care of her. <laughs> but, yeah. That's not good. No, I should take better care of her, I suppose. But, um, yeah. So, how did you start riding? Like, did um, somebody introduce it to you? No, or? I just always wanted to ride, I guess. So, when I turned the right age, I just went in and got my license you know did the course got my learners and you just go into a shop and say I want a motorbike well, and you, you knew what kind of bike you wanted well, no I sort of uh, did my research I actually had a friend who had the same bike so I ended up getting the same as him but yeah lots of learners have Varagos to Mariah's to Mariah's out there <laughs> okay Patricia what well, you're one of the original members from Dykes and Bikes how long has it been going on I think Dykes on Bikes started about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I joined seven years ago, so I'm one of the oldest members um, there. Our president that came along at the beginning of the ride, she's one of the originators. Yep. And a lady called Kate actually started the group for the women because she wanted to have a motorcycle group for lesbians, basically. Yep. So she, she started the group and so, yeah, and that formed and it's been going ever since. And what have been some of the highlights that you've seen in the, in the seven years that you've been here? Uh, look, there's a great camaraderie mm -hmm. uh, amongst the women. Do you have like a cheer song? No, we don't no, have a cheer no, song. No cheer song. <laughs> we don't have a cheer song, but um, just amongst the women, we, it, it's sort of become a family with the older yeah. members. We go away for weekends. And one of the best, two of the best things we ever did was... Um, we were riding up to Mardi Gras on a year-by-year -year basis, so a group of us would go up. And whenever you stay with people for weekends and stuff, you really get to know people really well and and form a you know bond with them and form a really special friendship and sort of it's like it to me it's like my bike family you know yeah. so it's most enjoyable. And another time we went. Um, Oh, whoop whoop, I can't whoop, remember whoop. the name. It's like where we are now, hey. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the place we went to, but we, we met the um, Sydney Dykes on Bikes as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, and was there a big gang fight? We had, no. We had a great weekend. There was so a you, big you don't, fight. you don't act like real, like, bikies. No, no, we're not We're not real, like, bikies. That's pretty but, boring. Um, well, the Sydney women were. <laughs> We're a little bit more conservative compared to the Sydney women, but we had a really nice weekend, yeah. and it was a good grounding for Mardi Gras and that our first Mardi Gras about uh, five years ago. So it was a really great, great weekend. And when you get to your final destination, like a long journey like Sydney, do you get all crazy and start doing wheelies and things in no. the street? <laughs> You're talking to the wrong person when it comes to wheelies. I'm a very conservative rider and my BMW is very conservative bike. So Have you no. ever tried a wheelie? No, no. No, no, no. Not in for that kind of thing? No, no, I'm not. I don't believe in wasting money and okay. putting rubber on so the Is drone. there anyone here you can point me out that can do a wheelie? Because oh, I'd be well, really I impressed. Think, I think Di did some <laughs> wheelies this morning <laughs> when she was coming to meet you. She did a bit of fish tailing, so yeah, so you can be impressed with Di, not, I, I'm not out to impress, I'm no. out to ride safely. But you've got three bikes, they tell me. I have indeed. Three, that's pretty impressive. Well, yeah. <laughs> I have my uh, BMW, which is my winter bike. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got and, seasons. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I have my Yamaha um, Cruiser, which That's is the one my you wear your bikini bike. on. That's right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and the little ones are 250, which my son rides. Sensational. Yeah. Oh, I've noticed that everyone's wearing armbands today. Is that yes. for anything? Yeah. We've all got purple armbands on our right, uh, left side, and that's basically because we're dedicating this ride to. Um, a very special person, a member of Dykes on Bikes, and she was one of the original members as well, who passed away a couple of weeks ago. So um, this ride's dedicated to her. Her name's Marg, and um, this is for you, Marg. Here's to Marg. Yes, absolutely. So, but she likes his girl and one or more is surely being heard, and it's all exponential after that. Seven bottles of beer 
Abby, sweetheart. I'm allowed to call you sweetheart, aren't I? You can call me anything. I can call you anything. Now, you did the ride today. What's involved in a ride? What well, like, are the rules? Well, we had a brief instruction before we left because it's my first ride that I've done. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, don't do anything stupid. Um, it's quite a responsibility being a leader, as in you're responsible for all the chicks behind you. Uh, just keep all the, the distance Boom right, down. and um, <laughs> you're right there. And uh, just take it easy. You know, don't weave in and out traffic. Don't overtake when you don't have to. And um, I must say, I was packing it today, absolutely packing it, hyperventilating in my helmet, let me tell you. Now, you had a few bit bugs in your teeth as I well. I did, I did. Yeah, they're the gone. Line. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone now, yes. Because I had to have a helmet up because it was all foggy and I couldn't see where I was going. And that's a little bit of a worry for a leader. Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all, nah. It, it was a lot of fun. I was yeah. on the back of Dyer's bike and it was a bit scary because she never told me when she was going to take off. So no. I was kind of like, yeah. But up you look good. I you did it on. with style. I stayed you on. did it with style. I did it with style. Decided to stop because it's a whole exponential after Why did you choose a Harley? Probably just the power, having the power and just um, it's a nice bike to ride. Mm -hmm. Just like bike, I've always wanted one. And Bit of a tough image? Um, I suppose, yeah. I like the feel of it. <laughs> yeah, the sound. Now, Di, we had a few scary moments while we were on the bike. What is it that you don't like about car drivers? I think with some car drivers, you've obviously got some people who don't see bikes for whatever reason, yep. but then you've got some arseholes out there who just don't give a hoot about car, uh, motorbike riders, and they're the ones that we've got to be really wary of because, I mean, as you can appreciate, if we fall off our bikes, there's a very good chance that we're going to be severely injured or dead. Yep. Um, so when we're on our bikes, we're actually concentrating as soon as our bum hits the seat. Um, we've got 360 Focus, um, and just making sure that we've got our wits about us in case there's a car out there who you know, cuts, it, cuts in front of us for whatever reason um, and we're just trying to protect ourselves, yeah. And is it easier riding in a group or by yourself? What? Well, you'd assume it would be because there's more bikes and we're more visible but um, at the end of the day, especially if you're going on a long ride and you're on a stretch of a highway, if a car's trying to overtake you, um, it makes it a bit difficult for them to get in amongst the bikes even though we try and leave enough space to mm -hmm. allow for that. Um, when I ride on my own, if there's a, a car behind me um, and it obviously wants to overtake, I'll just move over to the left and, and, and actually indicate for them to go through. And do you ride around with chains and smash in doors and stuff when they when they upset you? No, I, I haven't as yet, but um, it's something I could probably start thinking about. Because I heard a few of the girls talking about it. I'm not sure if they're actually doing it or they're just actually pulling our legs. No, I think they're trying to be a bit tough. Yeah, they're trying to yeah. act tough in front of the camera. <laughs> But no, we haven't done that yet. So Although I have heard of people actually kicking some car doors. Oh, I do that. I ride a push bike and I do that in the city because they See? cut me off all the time. See? And they deserve it. Indeed. Um, so have you got any last sort of comments to say to anyone out there that might want to join Dykes and Bikes? Yep, yeah, definitely. If there's any um, women out there, lesbians out there who want to come and join the club, please do. Um, I think from the, the video today you'll see that we're pretty, pretty much a fun club and are a fairly relaxed club. We meet the last Tuesday of each month at the Grandview Hotel at about 7pm, so please rock up, dobvic at yahoo.com.au. Come and join us. Cool. Thanks very much, guys. We've had a ball. So have I. Good. <laughs> so, but she likes his girl and